All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading. So we're gonna take a look and see. The person on your mind, what is their current energy towards you at this moment? So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So take a moment to see which pile is resonating with you. If you guys wanna book a personal reading, I am extending that $30 off the emergency read promotion for one more day only. So I'll leave the, the coupon code in the comment section. So check the date of the video, one more day, I'm gonna extend it. Um, okay, so let's jump in. So we have pile one. I'm just going to move these over. Ooh. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal. Emperor reverse. So we have an Aries here you could be dealing with. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel? They miss you but they don't want to tell you. <laughs> so this is someone who has control issues. This is someone who doesn't like to be vulnerable. This is someone who, it's very difficult to get this person to budge. Okay, they're very stubborn, stubborn person. They're in this sort of distorted masculine energy as well. Um, but this person, you know, despite the fact that they don't want you to know, they are really missing you at this moment in time. Okay, and because of this, it's actually calling them to do their shadow work. I almost feel here that this person um, in this period of time where they're missing you, but they don't know how to let go of their control issues to tell you this, it's causing them to have to look at themselves. You know, they're like, why, why can't I open up? Why can't I tell this person I miss them? Why am I so closed off? So I do feel like this person is starting to see some of the error in their ways. Let's see. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow. Wow, what an interesting combination of people. I feel like this represents you. Some of you really, like, put this person in their place. Queen of Swords Reverse, you guys have completely detached, completely gone cold, stopped giving every ounce of emotion that you had to this person. Like, you've locked away your emotions. This person is not getting any of your love. And I do feel that despite the fact that this person probably hasn't done anything, probably hasn't said anything, probably hasn't even shown you that it's affected them, it's affecting them. And they're really missing you, but the problem is, is that they don't know how to let go of their pride to tell you, and this is their work. So I feel like by you guys setting a boundary, although it might have been quite harsh, but it could be warranted. You know, if you're dealing with the Emperor reversed, maybe you needed to be the Queen of Swords reversed. Yeah. This person is feeling rejected by you, Four of Cups. Feeling like they've missed an opportunity, feeling like you do not want them anymore. And it's taking a toll on their ego. Yeah, you guys are not communicating. Page of Wands in reverse. What does this person want to say? We have the third party knows about you. Maybe that's why you cut this person out. I've told my friends how I feel about you. So this person is telling everyone except for you how they feel. Even this third party knows how they feel. Their friends know how they feel, but you don't know how they feel. Let's clarify this. So there's someone else. I don't know if they're in a relationship, married. I don't know if it's casual. I don't even know if you guys know. Let's see. Why is this the third party knows about you? <clears throat> I feel like this person is missing you so much that it's starting to slip through in their conversations with people. Yeah, they've said something. Judgment. They've said something to this third party. Now this third party knows about you. I think it's kind of like, you know when you're thinking about someone so much that you bring them up in conversation, you don't even realize it? It doesn't even have to be a person, but when you think about something a lot, you end up talking about it because it's just on your mind. So I feel like you're on this person's mind so much that whoever they're talking to, they don't, they don't mean to, but your name slips up. They, they say your name. Um, and I feel like the people around them are like, that's weird. Like you haven't talked to her in a while or you haven't talked to him in a while. Why are you bringing her up? Let's see. How does this person feel about you? Temperance. Sagittarius. At this point in time, this person is trying to find some sort of balance within themselves. And I think they are struggling because the balance that they need to find within themselves is going to require them to look at themselves because I feel like this person is typically used to being in control in a relationship. You know, they like to have the upper hand, they like to feel like they're in control. Again, you put this person in their place, big time. 
you have completely gone cold, you shut them out, you've cut them out, you did whatever you had to do to protect your own heart. And I feel like this person, they're not used to this again, right? So this person is like, oh my gosh, I've lost control of the situation. That's why they don't want to show or reveal what they're actually feeling. But I do think that this is a positive thing because it may very well cause this person to change. Who knows? I'm not saying wait around for them. I'm saying that this actually could cause a change in this person because with the shadow work card, it seems like they're actually looking at themselves. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for pile one. So I hope that resonated. Let's move on to pile number two. So if you guys chose this crystal here, how does this person feel about you? Four of pentacles, they're not opening up. How does this person feel about? They're not taking any action. Oh, they're very closed off. Oh, they're very closed off. Why? Because they're hurt. So this person is shut down. They are not opening up to you. They are not moving this forward. They are not revealing their feelings. And I asked why it's because they're hurt. I don't know if this is because they're hurt over you or they're hurt over someone else. But if you're wondering why this person isn't opening up to you or they're kind of reserved, it's because they're heartbroken. Let's see, pile two. Oh, they're going through a depression as well. We have admired. This person really does see that you're an amazing person. I don't know if this heartbreak is about you or someone else. Are they just hurt over someone else or is this you? Either way, this heartbreak, I will clarify and find out, but this heartbreak that they're going through right now is putting them in a dark place mentally. They're going through a depression. Um, fall time could also be significant. Maybe you met this person in the fall. Maybe you had a falling out in the fall. <laughs> um, but fall could be significant. Let's just see. Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is this Three of Swords here? I don't know if this is about you or not. Six of Swords reverse. They haven't healed. Whatever this is, whether it's, maybe it's not telling me because it's different for everyone because this is a general reading. Um, whatever this heartbreak is, they have not healed. They are still attached to this situation. I don't know if they're still, I don't know if it's you that they're still attached to or it's the past, but they are carrying baggage, okay, because they have not healed from hurt. So because they haven't healed from this hurt, it's not allowing them to open up to you at all. They're very scared to open up to you. They do see your value though. I mean, with the admired card, this person is like very much in awe of you. But let me give you an, a, a scenario. So let's say this heartbreak isn't about you. Let's say that this is an ex that really hurt them. They have just taught themselves to shut down. Like that's just their go-to. It feels way too scary for this person to open up in any way, to be vulnerable in any way. So even though they admire you and they're like, wow, this is a great person, because they haven't healed and they're still attached to some past pain, unfortunately, you're amazing, but they can't open up. Or they're not allowing themselves to open up to you. What does this person want to say? We have, sorry, my feelings have changed. I always think about you when I'm at work. Our chemistry is too intense. Okay, one thing I'm getting is that for a lot of you, this could be someone where things were going great for a while and all of a sudden this person kind of changed, okay? Now, what I'm getting is that the reason why this person changed is because they were reminded of their past hurt. Something kind of triggered their baggage. They might have actually felt like they were, um, the emotions that they were feeling for you were becoming too intense. Our chemistry is too intense. Because keep in mind, like, if you're, if you have a broken heart and you don't heal it and you meet someone else that you start to have feelings for, but you haven't healed your broken heart, there's so much that comes up, right? There's so many emotions that come up. It could be more hurt. It could be, um, you know, being guarded, jealousy, it could be anything. So I feel like this person, they do have feelings for you. They actually think about you a lot, specifically when they're at work. So I'm not sure if you work with this person or they just think about you when they're at work specifically. Um, but they feel like the chemistry between the two of you is too intense for them to handle right now. And they're not opening, they're not allowing themselves to open up. 
they might have also told you that their feelings have changed as a way to just kind of draw back from you. Whoops. Let's see. Pile two. They're very attracted to you. This person sees your value. So I just want to say, just because this person may not be opening up to you or may not be giving you what it is that you want at this point, does not change the fact that they see you as someone who really has a lot of value, okay? They feel like you are someone who very much stands out. Um, they admire you for who you are, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Like, they, they see you as someone who really has a lot going on for you. Um, the problem is, it's like they can't really... They need to heal first because what it's telling me is that they have a lot of baggage. So I'm not sure if they're going to be able to move past their baggage or not. Okay. So that is pile number two. I hope that resonated. If you guys want to book a personal reading, I do have the 30% off promotion for one more day on the emergency readings only. Okay. So last crystal. All right. Pal three. High priestess. Hmm. Okay, side message. For some of you guys, I don't know if you're into gaming or this person's into gaming. Um, that's not for everyone, but for some of you guys, that may be a specific message. I'm just noticing this shirt kind of looks like a controller. That could be specific for some of you guys. Maybe someone's into gaming, that kind of thing. Okay, let's take a look. Pile three, two of swords in reverse. Star, we've got Aquarius, and oh, wow, and we have the tower. Very spiritual, my gosh, look at this. High Priestess, Star, and the tower for how they feel. Three Major Arcana. They're not seeing, they're trying not to see something. Look, we have this High Priestess closing her eyes, and this Two of Swords has a blindfold on. What are they trying not to see, or what are they not seeing? Five of Cups reversed. King of Wands in reverse. I think that this person feels like you guys have a connection, but they're trying to pretend like they don't notice it. Like, they feel like you guys have a really deep connection, but they're pretending that they, they're like, no. They're pretending like they don't see it. They don't notice it. They don't, they're not acknowledging it, even though they know it. And I think the reason why is because the tower, this connection, because sometimes spiritual connections can actually be very triggering, right? Like they can be difficult to navigate. I feel like this person is so triggered by this connection that they feel it. Because with the star, <clears throat> they feel like this is something really special. They feel like this is something really destined, but they're avoiding this connection. Like they're, they're like, no, no, I'm going to pretend I don't notice it. Um, I think they're going to regret this though. Now, I feel like one reason, too, why this person may be, <clears throat> excuse me, um, avoiding this, avoiding seeing it or denying it. Like, what's interesting is I feel like if you were to say this person, say to this person, I think we have a, some sort of a spiritual connection, they would go no, or they would laugh in your face. But then they would think to themselves, yeah, I know we do. Like, they don't want, they don't want to see it, but they know it. It's like their intuition is telling them, okay, there's something here. But I feel like this person also feels like this connection is too triggering. So it's almost like the universe is handing them this gift and they see it. But they're going, no, I'm just going to avoid this. I almost feel like this person's going to regret it. Maybe they already do. Maybe this is like speaking about the past. Okay. So as it stands, they're at a crossroads. And I would, my guess would be this crossroads is, do I open my eyes and actually see what's right in front of me? Or do I keep avoiding this connection? Oh, there could be someone else as well. So that could be affecting them. Let's wrap a message. The fact that we have the crossroads, which is like the two of swords. We already have the two of swords. And then we have karmic partner. There's definitely someone else involved. Wow. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this person has someone else. Look at this. Okay, first of all, does this not confirm what I was just saying? I've been searching for someone like you my whole life. 
they see this connection. This person knows that there is something really special about you, like very special, but they're avoiding it. I think this is why, because they're already involved. They could be involved with the um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're already involved, and they know that in order to be with you, this special connection that they've been searching for their whole life, they would have to leave this other person, and I feel like that's why they're avoiding this. That's why they're pretending like, no, we don't have anything. No, we don't have anything. They know you have something. They know that there's a connection here, but they're avoiding it. They're literally putting themselves in a state of denial. So this could be frustrating for you guys, especially if you also feel like there's a, a spiritual connection here. Let's get another message. Can you reach out to me? I'm scared. So if this person hasn't said anything to you, it's because of their fears. I don't know if it's the best, like, I don't think it's a good idea to reach out to this person, especially if you know that they're still involved with someone else, because I almost feel like that would keep this person from making any decision. But let's clarify. Can you reach out to me? I'm scared. Yeah, see? That's why they're not reaching out. The page of pentacles in reverse. It's almost like this person wants you to do the work. I mean, they're, they have to get over this fear, right? Like, because if you reach out to them, then they don't have to overcome that fear. So if you're wondering why they're not reaching out, that's why, because they have a fear. But I honestly, I feel like by you not reaching out, this is forcing this person to have to stop avoiding this. Like they have to make up their mind here but they're still stuck in limbo. But just know that this person recognizes the connection even if they have denied it or pretended that they didn't. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for pile three. If you guys wanna book a personal reading, I do have a 30% off promotion. It's the last day, I extended it for one more day on the emergency reading, so it'll be in the comment section down below. Um, there's also $20 off for any of the other readings as well if you don't want to book an emergency reading, okay? But I'm sending you guys absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.